Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna do a recipe that's super easy. It's gonna be a quick video, and this is a recipe that I go to whenever I need an Asian sauce. If I wanna do a marinade or have it flavor a dish, um, maybe for egg rolls. Uh, you can use this for shrimp, pork, chicken, beef even. And this is my go-to sauce recipe. So it works as a marinade as well as a stir-fry sauce or whatever you might be doing with it. So if this inspires you uh, to stay with me, and I hope it does, you'll have to get a little piece of paper and uh, maybe do a shopping list for things you might not have in your pantry. So uh, go down to the About section below and check out all the links that I've left for you. I've got my Wild Tree website as well as my Facebook page. Go over and say hi over there. Join in on the conversation. It's over 5,000 of us over there now. So uh, if this inspires you, let's go make some Asian sauce. It's gonna be delicious. And following this video, I will have a few videos showing you how I use the sauce. So come on. All right guys, so I'm glad you stayed. In my bowl, this is gonna be my marinade bowl. And you could double or triple this recipe if you'd like, but this usually does plenty for a pretty good sized meal. Or if you're doing hors d'oeuvres, it serves just as well. So I've got three tablespoons of chopped up fresh garlic. Now. I don't recommend using the one in the jar. The one in the tube is okay, I guess. I, I just rather you have fresh because it's gonna release essential oils that the other ones may not release for you. We've got ginger in the tube and I, I prefer the fresh ginger, but this is what I have. So you want a fair amount of ginger. And I'm gonna say, a healthy two tablespoons of ginger. So three tablespoons of garlic, two tablespoons of ginger, and then because I'm fresh, or I'm out of uh, fresh scallions, I'm using dehydrated green onions. And this is kind of the base for almost any Asian dish, is garlic, ginger, and green onions. And so we're gonna put um, the equivalent of four green onions, or in this case, it's about a quarter cup of dehydrated green onions. And then we have uh, rice vinegar. This uh, seasoned rice vinegar is just fabulous. And we want a good balance of sweet, salty, and um, spicy. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of that. Actually, that was a half cup, sorry half a cup of that rice vinegar. I don't want that much. Um, I'm gonna do an eighth of a cup of fish sauce. If you have an allergy to shellfish or anything like that, then leave that out. Uh, we want half a cup of soy sauce, and I have a non-GMO soy sauce here, low sodium. Should have taken the stopper out. So half a cup of that. And depending on the potency of your ingredients, you may have to adjust things, okay? So now I've got some toasted sesame oil, and I'm gonna do a quarter cup of that. And it's a strong flavor, but it absolutely brings another depth and layer of flavor to this dish. So you definitely want it in this marinade, just like if you were marinating and adding olive oil. Now, if I've got it in the fridge, I always try to add some oyster sauce or some hoisin, and we're gonna add what's left in here. In fact, I'm gonna turn this upside down. There's about, I'm guessing about two tablespoons, but we'll, we'll see. And then sriracha and that one, we're gonna do an eighth. 
actually a quarter cup of sriracha. And it's nice when you do it after you've done the oil, most of the sauce comes out of your measuring device. And we don't need salt. So um, this oyster sauce is optional. Um, like I said, you could use hoisin just to add a little layer of flavor. So this has got, we'll say two tablespoons of either hoisin sauce or oyster sauce. And then you're going to whisk this up and the onions will rehydrate and lend their own flavor to this. So just like the fresh ones would break down, these will rehydrate and break down. And then you wanna taste this, even though it's very strong, for right now, but if you want it seasoned hotter um, or saltier or you need to tone anything down, now's the time. So you just take the spoon and taste what you got. You know it's going to be stronger because it's in a concentrate. It's absolutely So now fabulous. this marinade is ready for pork, chicken, shrimp, or even beef. Anything you want to do for a stir fry or a um, barbecue, anything like that, you've got a go-to marinade that is absolutely delicious. And I took and rinsed out that jar for the um, oyster sauce. I rinsed that out, so I got all the oyster sauce out of there with a little bit of water, maybe an eighth of a cup of water. And, um, and we've got, you can see, this is plenty of marinade. That's a good cup and a half to two cups of marinade. So we're going to marinate some stuff, and in the next video, you'll see how I use this marinade. So if this inspires you to stay with me, and I hope it does, go down in the About section below, check out the links that I've left for you, and um, join up on Facebook with us, hit like over there, and join in As on the always, conversation, guys, say hi, I hope I see you next time, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now so you get notified for my next video. I'll see you next time. God bless.